Hey guys, what's up? It's Nick from MargaretIphon.com and today I have a really important video for you guys today. And this is going to be important for you guys with iPhone 3GS's, iPod Touch 3rd Gens and also you guys with iPads. Of course it will um, be good for you guys with other devices to do this thing, but um, mainly for you guys that I just mentioned, this is very important for you. Now, I'm going to be showing you how to save your SHSH files, your SHSH blobs, whatever you want to call them. Now, um, this could be important because Apple will no longer allow you to downgrade so this is going to be important if Apple um, block a jailbreak or block jailbreaking in the future and then we know we can jailbreak on the firmware we are currently at now but you might not be able to in the future so it'd be cool if we could downgrade back to that uh, firmware and stay on that and stay jailbroken on that so it's going to be really important for you guys that want to be jailbroken um, in the future so that is mainly the reason so I'm going to show you how to do it on Windows and there will be another video after this showing you how to do it on Mac I might do it in separate videos I'm not sure yet so what I want you to do is go to ihatesnow.com right here ihatesnow.com and once you get there this is by the same people that made Snowbreeze and uh, other things like that um, you want to go to the top where it says auto sh SH uh, 3.3, 3.2. Just click that and it will take you to a media fire link. And what I want you guys to do is download the Auto SH, SH Grabber. So click here to start download. And once it's downloaded, you can save it to wherever you want to save it. And we're good to go. So I've saved mine in my jailbreak equipment folder. And here it is. So just going to open this up. Okay, so just you get this note. Internet connection is required for this to work. Also, make sure only one device is connected in recovery mode. So, click OK, and make sure you have Java installed, guys. This is very important. You need to make sure you have Java installed on your computer. If not, go down, go go and download it and install Java to your computer. So, once you have both of them done, you can. Put your device in recovery mode. Now this is very easy to do. All you need to do is turn your device off, fully off, make sure it goes all the way off. And once you've done that, get your USB cable, plug it into your computer and get the 30 pin connector. And whilst plugging it into your device, hold down the home button. So that's what we're going to do. And you should see your device goes into recovery mode. Okay, so once you're in recovery mode, iTunes might pop up, all you need to do is close that, if not, then we are good to go. So as you can see right up here at the top, it says grab my SHSH blobs automatically. So that's what we're going to do, you basically click that, and it will search for your device. Okay, so it's found it, and now we need to find somewhere to save it. I'm just going to save mine to my desktop, I'm going to call it SHSH blobs and we're going to click save. So once it's done that it will send your SHSH files to Cydia and then now when you open up Cydia you will see the writing at the top saying you have it saved. It's a real simple process as you can see it is now done and it is signed by Apple and it is saved on your Cydia application. Now guys this is really important um, if you like I said if you want to downgrade in the future. Now of course you can do this without being jailbroken uh, the iPod Touch I just used to show you on is not jailbroken. i done it without being jailbroken. It's very easy to do. But you also can do it, of course, if you are jailbroken. Either way, it doesn't matter. At least have your SHSH files saved if you wish to downgrade in the future or you wish to jailbreak in the future. So that is it, guys. This is showing you how to save your SHSH files on Windows. It's really important. Make sure you have Java installed on your computer. And make sure you have iTunes 9.1. Apart from that, guys, it's real simple. And um, hopefully you had no errors with this. So like I said, you have Java installed. You have iTunes 9.1. And you have your device in recovery mode during this process. It's real simple to do. And I hope you had no problems with it. If you did, just leave a comment and I'll reply to all of them. Or I'll try to reply to all of them with any help I can offer. That's about it, guys. It's Nick from mygarfin.com. Hope you found this helpful. Please subscribe and I'll catch you guys real soon. Peace.